All right, so now there's two coats of paint on the bottom. I just finished that up today. And now comes one of the most satisfying things about uh, bottom painting, and that's ripping off the tape. So I'm gonna work on that now. So it's, uh, it's really exciting to see this uh, boat coming together like this. And it's a warm day here in March, end of March, and uh, spring is pretty close. My uh, launch date is a couple weeks away, uh, just about two. So. Uh, I think I have enough time to get everything done. So what's left is uh, touching up some of the hull and washing it down and then putting all care on it. And then I'm going to touch up some of the non-skid on the uh, cockpit. Uh, let's clean that up a little bit. So here goes. I'm gonna take that tape off. I'm excited. Tape's been on there for uh, a good week, so I think that with the sun hitting on it and everything, it's uh, become a little harder to take off. Hopefully the other side's a little bit easier. One half done. Uh, now I'll have to do the other side. So I got both sides done, uh, peeling off that tape. It actually took uh, about four times longer to do the port side than it did to uh, to do the uh, starboard side. Uh, I don't know what was going on with the tape. I thought maybe this side was hard because of the sun hit, or predominantly the sun hits it more. Uh, but the other side was way worse. Uh, maybe because it's colder. I don't know. But it really gave me a, a lot of trouble. But uh, it's done, and uh, she really looks a lot better. So I'm excited. Going to sp uh, spray the prop shaft and propeller with the uh, anti fouling paint for metals. First, I need to tape up the zincs. I don't think I need to go crazy with the tape. I had gotten a little bit of the regular bottom paint on the shaft. I'm going to scrape it off. This is the stuff I'm using here. It's a bit windy, so I have to kind of watch to see where it's going. say uh, no more than five minutes between coats so I'm gonna keep spraying.
that's it for that. This stuff doesn't last very long, I've noticed, but uh, just have to use the engine, try to run the boat, you know, that'll help keep it clean too. I'll probably need to have a diver come at the end of the season and clean it, um, either that or the beginning of the next season. But get real close now. So here I am under the boat again. Um, what I'm doing is shaking up a little bottle of transducer paint. Uh, it's water-based. So this is the new transducer I put in. I had masked it uh, before painting the bottom with a Micron C and, uh, CSC. The instructions for the transducer said to use uh, only use a water-based uh, uh, bottom paint on it. So. According to this, you have to put two coats on uh, and allow uh, at least four hours between coats. So I'll do one today. I'll have to do another coat uh, next time I come down. It comes with a little brush. This paint is black and so is the transducer, so it's a little hard to tell um, where I'm putting coats on here. Oh, I just got it on my pants. That won't come out. I didn't think this stuff was going to be that messy. The problem is the um, paint runs down the little paintbrush shaft and uh, it drips off that and that's what makes it messy. I have no idea what that screaming is in the background. I don't know if you can hear it. I wish this brush was bigger. Doesn't seem to cover that well. Believe it or not, this is almost $11 for this tiny little thing. Crazy.